SPM, Form 4, Chemistry. Chapter 6, Electrochemistry. In this video, we will summarize the expected learning outcomes of Chapter 6, Electrochemistry, in the form of concept map. In this chapter, we will learn more about electrochemistry, that is, conversion of electrical energy, into chemical energy, and vice versa. There are six main sections in this chapter. 6.1, Properties of Electrolytes, and Non-Electrolytes. 6.2, Electrolysis of Molten Compounds. 6.3, Electrolysis of Aqueous Solutions. 6.4, Electrolysis in Industry. 6.5, Voltaic Cell. 6.6, The Electrochemical Series. In Section 6.1, we will learn about, the properties of electrolytes, and non-electrolytes. At the end of this section, you should be able to, state the meaning of electrolyte, classify substances into electrolytes, and non-electrolytes. Relate the presence of freely moving ions, to electrical conductivity. In Section 6.2, we will learn about electrolysis, of molten compounds. At the end of this section, you should be able to, describe electrolysis, in electrolytic cell, the phi cations, and anions in a molten compound, and describe evidence, for the existence of ions held, in a lattice and solid state, but move freely in molten state. Describe electrolysis of a molten compound, write half equations, for the discharge of ions at anode, and cathode, and predict products of the electrolysis of molten compounds. In section 6.3, we will learn about electrolysis of aqueous solution. At the end of this section, you should be able to identify cations and anions in an aqueous solution. Describe the electrolysis of an aqueous solution. Explain using examples factors affecting electrolysis of an aqueous solution. Write half equations for the discharge of ions at the anode and the cathode, predict the products of electrolysis, of aqueous solutions. In section 6.4, we will learn about the uses of electrolysis in industry. At the end of this section, you should be able to, state uses of electrolysis in industries. Explain the extraction, purification, and electroplating of metals, involving electrolysis in industries. Write chemical equations, to represent, the electrolysis process in industries. Justify uses of electrolysis in industries. Describe the problem of pollution, from electrolysis in industry. In section 6.5, we will learn about voltaic cell. At the end of this section, you should be able to, Describe the structure of a simple voltaic cell and Daniel cell. Explain the production of electricity from a simple voltaic cell. Explain the reactions in a simple voltaic cell and Daniel cell. Compare and contrast the advantages and disadvantages of various voltaic cells. Describe the differences between electrolytic and voltaic cells. At the end of this chapter, section 6.6, .6, we will learn about electrochemical series, and how they are constructed. At the end of this section, you should be able to describe the principles used in constructing the electrochemical series, construct the electrochemical series, explain the importance of electrochemical series, predict the ability of a metal to displace another metal from its salt solution, and write the chemical equations for metal displacement reactions. Thank you for taking the time to watch this.